Hello everyone and welcome back to Beatly Tones Beatles channel. Lovely to have you here. Thanks for joining me for this video and I hope you're all doing well. Now in today's video, I'm gonna try something a little bit different, which is something that I seem to be saying uh, quite a lot recently. Uh, no one can say that we don't mix it up a little bit on this channel. Um, but if you were watching, say like a couple of videos ago where I was talking about my Christmas swag, I told you um, that Mrs. Beatly Tone had bought me um, a project record cleaning machine uh, for Christmas. Uh, the the project V V V C E two. Uh, it's called. And um, when I told you about that, quite a lot of viewers said, "Would I do a, a review of it?" So uh, here I am. I'm going to do a review of it. So um, the record that I'm going to be cleaning is this one here. Uh, Peter Gabriel's first solo album from 1977. Now, Peter Gabriel's, all, Peter Gabriel's first four solo albums were all called Peter Gabriel. And so they became known by what, what was on the cover art. So this one, for obvious reasons, is known as Car. Uh, as I say, this came out in 1977. Now, back in the day, uh, you know, when I was a kid um, and buying records, you know, you can only really afford to buy, you know, maybe one record a month. And I have to say that I didn't really look after my records very well. So I would buy a record and you kind of play it to death. And because you were playing it to death, you know, I used to just leave it on my turntable. Didn't bother putting it back in the sleeve or anything like that. Because I knew when I got home in the evening or whatever, or after school or whatever, you know, I'd be put, I'd be playing it again. So I just used to leave it on the turntable, and obviously, you know, over time, it, you know, gathers grime and and dirt and all that, all that sort of stuff. Now, I'm not saying that I've never ever cleaned this record because obviously I have, but I've only really done it with, you know, with a with a, a microfiber cloth and some cleaning solution. Um, so you know, it's it is it is quite dirty, um, but it's never been cleaned like properly um so the 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 uh the project vc e2 is like a vacuum based uh record cleaning machine i've never had one uh before so um i'm hoping that that what i'm what i'm hoping for this is that um obviously it will get the record as clean as it possibly can but because these records are so old, um, you know, a lot of them have got, and, and they haven't been particularly looked after that well. Um, you know, I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to eradicate some of the sort of crackles and pops that have, you know, developed over over the years. Of, you know, all records, t you know, tend to have them. Uh, old old records tend to have them, and um, they're they're quite annoying. And the, the bits where they're really annoying is where there's not much going on on a track musically. So maybe it's just like, you know, uh, you know, a guitar and voice or maybe a piano and voice. So there's no big sort of arrangement where you've got like a, a big arrangement and there, there, there could be crackles and pops going on underneath, but you tend not to hear them because there's so much else going on. But when it's kind of stripped down to the bare bones and it's just maybe, you know, just a piano and voice or something like that, then you really hear the sort of the crackles and the pops and they're really, really annoying. So I'm kind of hoping that by cleaning it with this machine, giving it a sort of a, you know, a deep clean, um, I'm going to be able to maybe minimise the, the the crackles and the pops and redu reduce them. Uh, and I, if, if I can do that, that be, I'll be really, really happy about that. Obviously, you know, no record machine is going to get rid of scratches. Um, it's not going to get rid of jumps and stuff like that. But if I can kind of reduce the, uh, you know, the crackles and pops, I'll be, I'll be happy. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to clean the, the, the record and I'm going to try and do a sample before and after and hope that I don't get, um, like a copyright strike from YouTube. If I keep it to a very, very short extract of the song, I think it will probably be okay. So hopefully, um, we can, we can hear the difference before and, and after. So shall we get on with it? So this is the project VC. E2, which is the latest model. Uh, it's a smaller, more compact model than the previous one, which I think was called the EC3. And they've made a few modifications. Um, one of the main modifications they've made is they've added this uh, this vent here, because on the previous model, 
the the liquid would gather underneath and it could spray up and there was no there was no cover here so it would spray up against the record so they've added this and um this this is just um it's just attached with a, a couple of screws and uh they give you an allen key to do it so uh for any like anyone like me who's a diy neanderthal uh you'll be glad to know you don't need any tools and it's very very simple uh to put together so you just put the two screws in there this comes on and off this is the vacuum it's got uh, like a self-adhesive uh, strip there. They give you some spares of that as well. Now, this is the platter, obviously, where the record sits. Now, on the previous model, the, the, the top, the bit that you put on the top that covers the label used to be a screw-on uh, top, but now it's magnetic. So it just goes on like that, and it's very, very tight and very, very secure. It's uh, really, really good. Okay, so controls, uh, not much to the controls. Um, if we turn it around, the, there's the uh, the mains at the back there. And uh, at the side here, we've got two controls here. Uh, the motor, which has got two two directions, which that turns the, the turntable there, one and two. And then the vacuum, that, that, that is there. Okay. So, let's get our record on on there, and uh, we'll just take that over there. And so you put the clamp on, and now that's 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 secure. And you can clean this using you know a microfiber cloth or, or or brush or whatever whatever you usually use. That's what I usually use or used to use. Uh, you know, with with some liquid, but. Now I've got a vacuum, you might as well just vacuum it. So just get it spinning and you know, just put the vacuum on. I do it both ways. Okay, so that should get all the all the dust off. Now, with the with the project, you get uh, they they supply you with a bottle of fluid called Wash It Two, which is a ready made uh, formula. They also uh, supply you with one of these, which is a goat's hair uh, brush, which I think is very good. Now, I've also I've also used um, Groove Washer as a as a liquid as well. And uh, with with Groove Washer's own sort of brush, which is kind of like that, which I quite like as a brush. But I tend to find that if you you know if you're cleaning lots of records with fluid, this gets wet very very quickly. And I've seen you know quite a few people, um, quite a few people doing a video showing a Groove Washer um, as a liquid, um, and they all say it's fantastic. Um, but they're all being paid by Groove Washer uh, to 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 advertise it, and um, I think it's I think it's quite good. But um, I've tried both li I've tried both liquids on this, and I found that this one here is okay um, if you use it for records that are sort of you know slightly soiled, um, you know quite quite dirty, but not absolutely filthy and not if they've got like loads of cracks and pops on it um for cracks and pops i found that groove washer actually does uh do a better job um than the the, the wash it too um but i i think that i'm going to use this this brush because i think this gets into the grooves uh better than the groove washer um the groove the groove washer um brush so we're going to start the thing spinning and we're going to put some liquid on it. And uh, then we're going to wipe it in with the brush. It's probably better to do it away from the label, although it probably doesn't matter too much. And then we'll 
spin it the other way. Brush it the other way. I'm going to put some more stuff on this. Because this is filthy. That's it. It's nice and white now. Let's do it the other way. Now before vacuuming it, we're gonna we're gonna just leave it for a minute. Okay, so we're ready to uh, to vacuum it now. So we get it spinning. quite noisy and now we'll go the other way maybe two or three spins each way that off off the top let's have a look looks it looks very clean uh, now we do the other side the other way so it gets right into the grooves and you can exert a bit of pressure on this as well okay let's leave it for a minute okay Let's get the vacuum on. Pretty clean. Of course, the proof of the pudding will be in the playing. So this is my main record deck. This is a Michelle Engineering gyro deck and it's fitted with a Samico moving coil cartridge, uh, which should give us more detail and depth uh, than a moving magnet cartridge. That's why I'm testing it on this rather than the one in my man cave where I make my videos. because That's got a moving coil, moving magnet. A cartridge fitted on it. So let's have a listen and see what the cleaning has done. You took your ticket yesterday in the humdrum. In the humdrum. I saw the man at JFK. He took your ticket. 
took your ticket yesterday in the home drum. In the home drum. So that has pretty much uh, blown my mind. This could turn out to be a bit of a, a game changer. So if you if you missed it, um, in the after cleaning one where Peter Gabriel sings in the humdrum the second time, the, the crackles and the pops have completely been removed from the before cleaning one. If you missed it, go back and have a, uh, have a listen. Uh, it really has blown my mind. It really has done a, a good job on that. And uh, that is quite exciting. To give the review uh, some kind of summary, um, I would say that I really do think this is a really good uh, record cleaner. I'm very, very pleased with it. And if I was giving it a mark out of 10, it's probably a solid nine. If I had one quibble, and it is only a, little, a tiny, little, tiny little quibble, uh, that is that the, the vacuum arm doesn't quite reach across to the end of the dead wax, which means that you get a little bit of fluid that doesn't get sucked up uh, from the from the vacuum and it kind of leaves leaves it on 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 the record that would be my only quibble but it is on the only on the dead wax so that means it is just a tiny tiny quibble now let's talk about uh about the cost because you know there's a balance to be done here because this you know the project uh v vce2 is not cheap it's not cheap it's 350 quid so you know, it depends on how much you want to spend uh, restoring your 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 records and how important they are. Is is it is it worth it? I I think well as I, as I got it as a gift. Uh, obviously, I'm very pleased to have it um, as 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 a gift. And uh, you know, I'm you know I'm not going to be going. I'm not going to be cleaning all my new records. Uh, with, with this method, but the records that I've had for 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, um, I'm gonna go back and clean them um, and uh, see what improvements I, I can make. It's, a, it's gonna be a little bit of a, uh, an experiment, but as I say, it, it is quite expensive uh, to buy. About the the liquids, also expensive. Um, so the, these this groove washer um, uh, liquid, and the brush. Now, these seem to be quite easy to get in the UK as a pair. As a pair, you can buy them on Amazon, but Amazon want like 80 quid for these two things. I mean, this is a, like, it's a walnut, uh, you know, brush, and it is very nice, but 80 quid is a lot. There's only four fluid ounces of, um, you know, cleaning fluid in in this, and um, that is that is quite, quite expensive. And uh, Groove Washer is made by uh well groove washer are based in kansas city so to buy this in the uk we have to pay you know quite a big like import uh fee uh to get it over here so i, I had a look to see where you could buy uh the groove washer liquid in the u in the uk without having to buy the brush as well uh you know amazon seemed to do the, the pair together but not separately uh and i did find a company called juno records that that uh, sold the liquid separately there in the UK and you know when you do you know when you do your shopping online and you've no idea about weights or measures you think you're going to buy a great big bag of frozen peas and when it actually comes it's about like that big and it's got like seven peas in it uh, well I did exactly the opposite uh, with the groove washer liquid so I bought a refill bottle from Juno Records and it's like this, it's massive, it's bigger than my head. And um, there's 32 ounces, fluid ounces of fluid in there. Uh, that is eight of these, eight of these. And you can, obviously you can decant it into this to use the, the spray and all, all that sort of stuff. Um, this great big bottle of cleaning fluid, 40 quid uh, from Juno Records, which I thought was pretty good value for money. It's 32, as I say, 32 fluid ounces of cleaning fluid in here. You can clean a lot of old records uh, with 32 fluid ounces of cleaning fluid. Whether it'll be enough to clean all my old records uh, remains to be seen, uh, but I will give it a go. And if it's not enough, then I'll have to buy uh, some, some more. Okay, down in the comments, please tell me 
at how you clean your records and generally what you think about this project VCE2 uh, machine and the, the demo. I'd love to hear from you. As you know, I read all your comments and I will respond uh, to all your comments as well. Uh, if you remember, if you want to do me a favour, please uh, give the video uh, a thumbs up, uh, give it a like uh, because it really helps get the video out there to uh, to other people, uh, really helps the channel a lot. And if you have just stumbled across this channel uh, by complete fluke, by accident, and you're not a subscriber, um, please consider subscribing to the channel. Love to have you on board. That would be absolutely marvellous. Okay. That is it from me. Uh, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you all very soon. Bye-bye.